So if you look from the front of the vehicle, right up above the starter, right there, this is the connector for the knock sensor, the front knock sensor. It's gonna be the same for the front and the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it first. It's got a little lock on the connector, so I'm gonna use a pick to pull that down and unlock it. There we go. And then press on the center tab, pull the connector down. There we go. Set that aside. Now let's grab a 13 millimeter socket. Just to break it free, I'm gonna stick my ratchet in here. All right, that's broken free. Now I can get it with my fingers. Okay, that just fell out of the hole there, out of the mounting hole. So I'm gonna grab it and pull it straight out of there. The bolt fell out, but here's your knock sensor. Get your new knock sensor and slide it up into place here. It's gonna be pretty hard to get it started because you can't see anything. Well, I managed to get it started. Before I tighten it up, now that it's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Okay, I got the connector started on here. Now I just have to push it in all the way and it clicks. This one just did. Don't forget to lock the locking tab. All right, let's finish tightening it up. There's no way I can torque this at the angle that it's at, so I'm just gonna make it nice and snug with my ratchet. Okay, it's nice and snug. Now in order to do the rear knock sensor, it's gonna be the same exact procedure, except instead of going through the front, you're gonna go through the back, follow the exhaust up, and it should be right there. 